This is the 2017 Chevy Malibu. If you're a regular viewer of Motoring TV, you know that both myself and Graham have reviewed the car, and you can check those reviews out at MotoringTV.com. But General Motors is calling this the most connected car in the midsize segment, and it has lots of good stuff. But the feature we want to look at is something called Teen Driver, meant to allow parents to monitor driving habits of their family's young drivers. We think it's important. Why? Well, look at these numbers. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in the United States, an average of six teenagers a day die from motor vehicle injuries. Remember the words of a researcher at the University of Minnesota who recently said the two most dangerous years of your life are between the ages of 16 and 17, and the reason is driving. This is really the impetus and the start of a revolution in, in terms of in-vehicle tech, car technology. If you look at the age demographic from when you get a license at 16 years old to 19 years old, um, compared to all other age demographics, they're three times more likely to get in a fatal crash. So this, if you want to make a safe car, addressing this and making sure there's a way to coach drivers in particularly that demographic is absolutely critical. It's critical for the teens themselves but also for the families that want to have uh, um, the peace of mind that they're doing everything they can to make sure that the teen is safe. Uh, if I go into say Apple CarPlay for example and I want to listen to some music, I can do that and that's great. But the only reason I can is because I have my seatbelt fastened. The second I unfasten my seatbelt, I lose my infotainment system. If I fasten it back up, the music comes back. So pretty clear, audible and visual reminder that you need to fasten your seatbelt in order to use your infotainment system. Another feature is if I go into the settings menu and I go into teen driver, I'm presented with a pin. If I'm the teen, I have no idea what the pin is, so I can't customize any of the features of teen driver. Only the, the parents uh, can access these menus because they're pin protected. The other thing you can do is you can set a teen driver speed warning. So if you know where your teen is sh should be driving and maybe they should be driving on the highway but no faster than 100 kilometers an hour, you can adjust the, the speed that they're able to drive. So if you go into the view report card section, after the teen has been driving, you can see a report card of the distance they've driven, the maximum speed that they drove. So if you see 150 kilometers an hour, you know they've been up to no good. You can see the number of times they went over the overspeed warnings that you set. So if you set it to 100, you, it'll count every time they go over it. And then some of the active safety features. So forward collision alerts, forward collision avoidance braking. Those are some of the telltale signs of texting while driving and being distracted while driving is if you have to break at the last second and these active safety features need to come on to help save you. The libertarian in me says, wait a minute, isn't this spying on your kids? Uh, you know, to me, as a, as a, you know, my son's 22 now, but when he was starting to drive, I figured if I can't trust him with the car, I should just did not give him the car. And the idea of sort of tracking his driving behavior, I understand the safety elements of it, but it just seems a little intrusive. I think in particular, kids who tend to be distracted, perhaps a little more easily than adults, um, uh, to have that equipment ab aboard or built into the car is certainly more comforting, would be more comforting for most parents that, uh, that have kids out on the road. But if the parent and the, and, the, and the kid have a good relationship, if it doesn't get perceived by either party as sort of a scolding or intrusive, but instead a teachable moment, a learnable moment, I think it could really help. It's not a, you know, a nanny situation or a, we're looking over your shoulder and we don't trust you. I think it's not about that. If they position it that way, I think then it can be a very good thing. 